Happy New Year everyone. Uh, this is going to be your first video for 2015. Um, so hope you enjoy. There's going to be many more coming this year. Uh, God willing. And today's tutorial is going to be on the four stranded uh, cross hitch bracelet. Um, now there's different ways you can set it up. Um, as you've seen in the pictures right before the video started this was one way you could set it up alternating your colors just like that um, which the result is going to be like this bracelet right here you have the orange and then you've got the two colors kind of on top of each other or alternating back and forth the other the other variation of color style you can use when making this bracelet is you can put you can make it to where orange is all on one side and like on this bracelet the blue is all on this side the only difference is um, when you set it up you put uh, you just use two strands of whatever color of your choosing but instead of fusing them together like I did in this bracelet you just do the blue strand on this side and the other color on this side and same weave it's just a different result with regard to the the color the color scheme whatever you whichever style you like okay so let's get started um, now that we got everything set up all right we're gonna start off with um, you can start with whichever side you want right or left doesn't matter all the all you need all that really matters at this point is that you're using you're starting with the outer cord uh, the outer cord on whichever side you choose I'm going to use the right side outer cord to start off with and what we're going to do is go across that's the first step just going across everything you're gonna go now keep in mind you have four inner strands two on the right two on the left and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go you're gonna take this cord that you started off with and you're gonna go in between the inner strands the first and second one on this side over here as you can see Right there, I'm going to go through. So basically all you're doing is just taking your cord and going through the inner strands on this side over here. So you'll have three on this side and one on that side. You just go through the middle. You're going to take it around and back through that same back through that same hole that's that you came through come back around and you go through the same the same hole and once you got everything once you got it through you just pull it tight just like that now you've got this cord that you just went through coming underneath and you got this one from the middle on top. So these two you're going to keep them together. You're going to take your left outer cord. You're going to go over everything. Then you're going to come go through the middle. I got my string tangled down here. Let me pull that out. Okay, so you got <clears throat> you see that your left cord is coming through the middle. There's three strands on this side, one on this side of the inner inner strands. You come up and back through that same hole. 
just like that. Hold tight. And push up or cinch it up just a little bit. Okay, now you're just going to repeat the process. Um, pretty simple process actually. Just remember the cord, whichever cord is coming down underneath, you're, you're, you, you're getting that cord and this top one up here together. And you're going to take the outer cord and come across and through the middle. up and back through that same hole and pull tight right two strands together over through the middle and under and back through that same same hole that you went through and you're pulling tight let me do a few more for you across just like that over and through under and back through and push it up let's do a couple more over and through back under back over and through again up one more over and through under the two right strands up and over and through just like that push this up just like that a little close-up of what it should look like and we pull tight all right I think you guys got the idea by now um, as you can see it's very similar to this pattern right here it's gonna be the same bracelet so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll show you how I finish it up. I'm going to use my needle nose pliers. You can use needle nose pliers or a, or a 550 FID. That'll work fine as well. And then I'm going to take this strand right here through there. Bring it through. Over and back to the same I think I can fit it in there without the pliers this time yep there we go and pull it tight and I think I can possibly get one more pass through there with this green going through there I'm going to pause the video and then show you how I cut and singe the, the ends. Okay, so here we are. We had four places that we needed to cut. One here on the side. You had, actually you had two strands here to cut. One here on the bottom and one on this side right here. So let's go ahead and... to this side and one let's see if I can get this one 
There we go. That's fine. And there's your completed bracelet. It's the same as this uh, coyote brown and orange. This is, I forgot to mention, this is gold and I believe Kelly green. Those are the colors I use. The design on the back is pretty cool as well, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> you could use uh, flat buckles and make this reversible. Or use the, uh, the buckles uh, with adjustable straps too. But the back is pretty, it's a pretty cool design as well. Pretty simple to do. Um, next video will be on this bracelet right here. This is a variation of the V-Hitch. Uh, I haven't thought of a name yet. Uh, once again, if you've seen this one before, uh, I will gladly give credit where credit is due. So, But this will be our next video. Um, the V-Hitch is the very first video I did, and it's this bracelet here. As you can see, it's very similar. This one's got a cool back as well. And hopefully I'll be bringing a video to you guys um, maybe once a week or once every 10 days. And um, thanks for watching and please leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.